Today, we are going to learn how to locate and utilize practical guidance on Bloomberg Law. By the end of this course, you should be able to locate practical guidance using the search bar or browse all content menu and understand how you might use our practical guidance in your everyday work. There are two main ways you will access practical guidance on Bloomberg Law. First, you can use the search bar. Start by typing practical guidance. Then select either the practical guidance homepage or the practical guidance search function. Additionally, you can access these features using the main content menu by selecting practitioner tools and then selecting practical guidance home or practical guidance search. If you think you will be using the practical guidance homepage or practical guidance search function frequently, you may want to click the favorite star next to the link in the content menu. Before reviewing the home page, let's discuss the practical guidance search function. The practical guidance search allows you to search by practice area so you can find the practical guidance most relevant for you. Let's say you are looking for sample corporate policy. You can click on corporate and type policy in the keywords field and click search. This will show all practical guidance discussing policies, both samples and other types of practical guidance within the corporate practice area. To isolate only those items that are sample policies, you can use the filters on the left and select Sample Policy. Let's use our Information Security and Data Privacy Policy annotated. At the top, you will notice that this was drafted by an outside expert. Any practical guidance drafted by an outside expert will have their name and a link to their bio. The form includes the text of the policy along with hyperlinks to related content, for example, the link here to the Graham Leach Bliley Act. Also, you may notice that some areas of the document may have annotations or other commentary. This text may provide you with tips or drafting points on key sections of an agreement or form. Other practical guidance features include a related content menu on the right side of the document, which suggests other content available on Bloomberg Law, such as laws and regulations, practical guidance, BNA portfolios, and more. A table of contents allowing for easy navigation, particularly in longer documents, and the show commentary toggle at the top that allows users to toggle any added commentary on or off. Users can download any practical guidance document as a Word file or PDF so that you can modify the document to fit your needs. Additionally, the print download feature has an option to toggle any added commentary on or off, allowing for the downloading of a clean form. Now that we have found a document using the search function, let's jump over to the practical guidance homepage to browse our full collection. The home page allows you to view our practical guidance by topic or transaction. Users can browse by topic or transaction across 14 main topic areas, including commercial transactions, corporate transactions, litigation, privacy and data security, employment law, and tax. Under these main topics, users have access to over 4,500 pieces of practical guidance grouped into more than 200 subtopics and transactions. Additionally, you can review our more than 20 types of guidance, which include sample agreements, drafting guides, timelines, checklists, comparison surveys, overviews, and more. You can also leverage our autocomplete functionality using the search bar to find the exact document for which you are looking. For example, a sample confidentiality agreement. Let's say you are a junior litigator and the partner asked you to prepare a motion for a more definite statement. You have never prepared this document before and are wondering how to get started. Starting on the Practical Guidance homepage, you can navigate to the Litigation tile and select Responsive Pleadings and Motions. On this page, you will see all of our litigation practical guidance for responsive pleadings and motions organized by topic, including responding to the complaint, amending, joining, and countersuing, Rule 12 motions and other early motions, and more. Under the Rule 12 Motions and Other Early Motions, you notice the following document. Overview, Motion for More Definite Statement. This looks like something that may be useful. Opening the document, you will notice that this overview reviews the requirements for this particular motion, including when to file, content in the motion, the legal standard, and next steps. It also includes links to other content on Bloomberg Law, including the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, our points of law tool that relies on machine learning to identify key holdings and points in court decisions, and our smart code tool that identifies court opinions discussing relevant code sections and uses machine learning to rank the strength of discussion. With this information, you can feel more confident and prepared to undertake the assignment.
you should now have an understanding of how to locate and utilize our practical guidance. Thank you for participating in our training today.